Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you how to create a GUI in Python. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface and it allows us to interact with our program without using the terminal. So first let's go ahead and create a new Python file. I'm using Kate for our text editor today. Go ahead and click on save here and let's type GUI.py. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and import the tkinter module. tkinter is the module in Python that will allow us to create a GUI. So let's say import space tkinter space as tk. This is optional here. It allows us to create a variable named tk instead of rewriting tkinter all the time. So let's go ahead and create our main function. Say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore double equals open quotations underscore underscore main underscore underscore and add a colon at the end. Okay, now we have our main function. Let's go ahead and create our window. I'm going to give this window a variable name called window and set it equal to tk dot tk open and close parentheses. What this is doing is creating our GUI and the GUI is set to the variable name of window. And now let's go ahead and add the main loop for our window. We can do that by typing window dot main loop open and close parentheses. Now if we run this program, you're going to see a window pop up. Let's go ahead and try that out. So let's type python space gui.py. As you can see, here is our first GUI. So let's go ahead and close this and let's add some text to that. We can add text with the tk.label function. So let's go ahead and add a label. I'll name this variable name heading label is equal to tk dot label with a capital L open and close parentheses and in those parentheses we need to send our GUI so our window and add a comma after that and let's go ahead and send text set that equal to this is our first GUI and we need to add this heading label to our window. The way we do that is with the pack function. Pack adds a new row to our window. So let's go ahead and say heading label dot pack. Open and close parentheses. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what it shows. Let's type python space gui dot py. As you can see, it shows this is our first GUI right here. Let's close this and let's go ahead and add a button now. We can add a button by creating a variable name. We'll name this button is equal to TK dot button. If you notice there is a pattern, you have to call TK and then whatever option you're trying to call. So there are built-in functions in tkinter that allows us to create buttons, labels, and also set the window size. Let's go ahead and go into the button function here and let's type window because we need to send in our window here and add a comma and let's add text is equal to click me. And Let's save this and let's go ahead and add button.pack so that way it could be shown on our GUI. Let's type python gui.py. As you can see here, here's the click me button. Let's go ahead and add some functionality to this button. So whenever I click the button, I want this is our first GUI to change to you clicked me. So let's close this. And let's go back into the button parentheses and after the click me let's go ahead and add a comma and say command is equal to lambda add a colon and then add a function name I'll name it click and let's send in our window and we will send the heading label. 
So let's create this click function now. Let's go outside of our main function and say df space click open and close parentheses. In those parentheses, we could send window and heading label. And let's add a colon at the end of our function. Hit enter. And here, let's say heading label dot config. And let's open and close parentheses. And in those parentheses, let's go ahead and send text is equal to you clicked me. And we need to update the window so that way the changes of you clicked me shows. And we can do that with window dot update open and close parentheses. So let's go ahead and rerun this program now. If we type Python space GUI dot PY, you can see here's our program and our first GUI. If we click this, it changed to you click me. So this is just the basics and starting points of GUI programming in Python. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time.